Hi, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the upgrades Adobe have made to Lightroom. So we are now in Lightroom 2023. And with every October comes a big update from Adobe. So I'm going to walk you through some of the new updates that have occurred. So the first thing you'll see is this new sort of toggle or tool here. This is known as the edit button. So what that enables you to do is quickly come back to the editing selections here. So if I'm in one of these here, I can simply click on that and it will bring me straight back to the editing panels here. So the biggest updates that have occurred are in the masking panel. And you'll notice that we can create a new mask by subject, sky or background. And this is really, really good. It's a lot more advanced than what it has been in the past. So for instance, if I wanted to select a subject, I could click on that and Lightroom will automatically pick up the main subject within the picture. So I'm just gonna get rid of that as a selection. We can also select the background and it will select the whole background for us and isolate the subjects for us which is really good it's a lot more advanced than what it has been and we also have the sky which i'll get onto in a minute now the other thing that has occurred is that if we come onto this picture here you'll notice that at the bottom here it says people it might be like this on yours so just click on the down arrow and what you have is the option to select all people or individual people which is absolutely amazing when you think about it so it can detect all of these people so we can select them individually if we wanted to so if i just wanted to edit this person i could just click on person two if i want to edit all of them i can click on that and i can then refine it even further so i can have the face skin body skin eyebrows we can select the eye the iris and pupil lips teeth and hair so it really enables us to create these different masks and have real control over our images. So what we can do is select all of these and then you'll notice down here it says create eight separate masks. So we can uncheck that and just create one mask or we can check that and then click create mask. And there we go. You can see there are all the different masks. So we can now edit our image is a lot quicker and a lot better. So we can, for instance, there, if we wanted to, we could just bring the exposure on all the faces. We could come to the hair and we could do whatever we want as you normally would. So we could just bring the, the highlights up or whatever it is you want to do, add some texture. So you can see there, it is it is brilliant. It's, it's a, a real, real game changer and it's going to help especially if you do a lot of portraits, it's gonna really, really help. So one of the other updates is the healing tool. So the healing tool, we have actually uh, three other options in there. Before I jump into that, I just wanna show you what the background uh, and sky selections do on this. So if we click on the background, you can see there, it does work really, really well. Now, if you've got an image like this and you've got uh, birds that are, or, or, or subjects that are very, very similar to um, the overlay color. You can click on that. This isn't new, but it's just something that's really handy. You can change it to, to any color you want just to help you visualize where their masks are. So that works really, really well. Um, so let's jump on to the healing selection here. And you'll notice that we've actually got the healing tool we've got the clone tool and we've got this one here this is the new tool which is a content aware remove tool this is something obviously we have in photoshop we can do content aware this here all we need to do is just click and drag and you'll see there's almost like a a, a bubble effect of where it's making this selection so i'm just clicking and holding down i'm just going to select the area there and i'm going to let go and Lightroom will analyze so it's missed a little bit there, but that's that's not a problem if we Want to we can change the opacity of that as well, and we can also change the size So we can do that. We can also click on the refresh button. So if we're not happy with the selection We can hit refresh and it will think about where to copy it from the other thing you can do 
here it says command plus drag on photo to select a custom source so we can hit the command key and we can drag an area that we want it to copy from and it will do its best to do that so if this ever happens to you you get a little bit there where it's just got a little bit confused then all you need to do is just click outside of the selection you've already made and go over and just include that area that wasn't taken care of before and there you go it will pretty much do it for you so you can see that is actually really really good it's made quite a, a, an improvement um, within Lightroom so the other option we've got are the uh, uh, these two here which aren't new um, so I think they made updates to these so let's select the hill and obviously this isn't what we want to be using it for but let's just see actually that's done a really really good job and it's done a better job than the content aware tool so it goes to show that it is working a little bit like Photoshop where you have to pick the right tool for the right job so let's have a look at the clone tool now this was notoriously bad and I have been waiting for Adobe to update this for ages because I'm fed up with having to jump between Photoshop and Lightroom just to use either the clone tool or the uh, the healing brush tool so let's have a look and see what it does so we've got that selection there now obviously the color is a little bit off we can feather it more um, to make it a little bit softer but it's the colors that are off so we need to select something that's very very similar so let's just see what that does so you can see there obviously that clone tool is not the ideal tool for that this particular edit but that's a that's a big 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 improvement it really really is and um, let's have a look at another picture here and see if we can clone out something say the eye and just see how well that works so again I wouldn't normally use the clone tool for this I would use probably the spot healing brush or the the new tool um, but again I just want to test to see how good this is so let's just make a selection it's all automatically selected an area that it thinks is best um, to it and we can press enter there and you can see yeah it's a little bit harsh um, but the good thing is is that it's non-destructive so we can go back and we can feather that a lot more if we want to so let's put the feather up to 100 press ok that's not a bad job it's not bad so in Photoshop we have uh, a few other updates so it's not going to go through all of them just the main ones so if we look at the object selection tool this is pretty good now if we think about using this what it will do is automatically select things for us so we don't even have to draw over our subject it's 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 quite good isn't it really um, now one of the things we can do is just if we just want to select this we can just click and it will automatically select that for us so it's thinking about it it's made that selection for me automatically so I'm just gonna go back a step now one of the other things that we can do is we can just click and drag okay like we have done in the past and that will make a selection of that area for us so the new thing that is really really good is that all we have to do is press shift and delete and what will happen is that it will use content aware fill automatically to fill that area for us which is really really good so let's go back a step now the other option you've got is to right click and you can select content aware fill or delete and fill section so the new option there if we look at that you can see it does a fairly good job I mean this is quite a complex picture so there's still bits left in there um, but let's just try the other one so the content aware fill and you can see what that will do is bring you up into this panel this panel again is not new but it does give you more control so we can now decide what we want in the picture to uh, be used to fill that area so we'd want to get rid of all of this area here and just keep the blue sky area there and that would then give us a much much better selection right clicking and coming to delete and fill section is the automatic way of doing it so again that is your shift and delete key so you can do that without having to go into any other menus or anything like that so that's really really good so another new feature that's come out is the 
new neuro filter so this new neuro filter is designed for you to edit old images that are damaged so if you come up to filter and then go to neuro filters if you've not used these before these are filters that are stored basically on adobe servers so it takes a little bit longer for these to work a lot of these are in beta testing some of them are are um are, are going and they're they're working really well but you can see down here that it says photo restoration so let's click on that and download it and this will just give us the actual software for us to work on and then it will link up to the adobe server and that's where the majority of the work will be done okay so once that's downloaded you'll see that the filter is processing on the device there and we have photo enhancement and enhanced face and scratch reduction so let's just push that up because there's lots of scratches on there and I'll wait for that to load and you see it's not doing a bad job so let's just go up on the photo enhancement so it's doing a pretty good job let's just bring these scratches down see if that helps so you can see there that there, there is still going to be quite a lot of work for you to do with regards to these scratches so what I'd recommend you do is do work before you bring this picture into this neuro filter but you can see as I reduce this scratch reduction it's actually given us a better overall effect so you really need to think about how much of this you're using so and, and you know some of this, a particular image might need more um, face enhancement than say photo enhancement so let's just say okay to that let's just do a quick before and after you can see what that's done with a couple of sliders that is a lot of work that is a lot of work so it is really good again you know you would still have to do uh, certain things but you you could certainly do that if you're doing photo restoration then you'll know how powerful this new feature is it will just take out that bulk of work for you so it's really really good and you can just spend your time um, going in nice and close and uh, doing what you need to do to sort out all the minor detail so I hope you enjoyed that video I hope you enjoy their new updates they're really really good I'm really really interested to see how you get along with them I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye